Hey what's up guys, Spirit here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this free-to-play Hog Rider Mortar deck. If you don't have the log, you can of course use the Zap spell, or even like the, the Barbarian Barrel, both of which will be a good replacement. We're going to go ahead and jump into some battles, and I'll see you guys when we're in game number one. Alright guys, here we go, game number one. We have found an opponent pretty quickly. So the guy is at 5400, that's pretty much where I'm at as well. I think I'm at like 50, I think we're on exactly the same trophies or very very close. But either way, he is using the wizard. So I'm just going to go ahead with a defensive mortar right here. Mini Pekka coming in as well. We'll go ahead and log, hit both of them right there. And that should be okay. We will take some damage from the wizard. We couldn't really defend it to be honest, we don't, we don't really have any good like single targeting like units i could have of course used bats but they would have got taken out so hog rider's going in valkyrie will get taken out right there he does have a baby dragon hog rider should still get two shots off any damage the bats do to the baby dragon are greatly appreciated nice look at that so the next the plan right here is wait for the the baby dragon to target then we'll go to spear goblins get some cheap tower damage hopefully too he's gonna go in with the witch we are going to fireball right here just to take her out and we actually ended up killing her nice so next what we're going to do is we're going to go more to right at the bridge ready for deployment hover the log looks like he's going to go in with the wizard and the mini pecker as well we can actually go over here with the goblin gang now purely because the wizard did die then he's probably going to go with the valkyrie so there's no point of over deploying because of course it will get all taken out right there so bats in for the valkyrie good to go right there with that play Hog Rider in the center as well. I'd expect the Baby Dragon once again, same as last time. Maybe it's, okay, even a Fireball. A bit different, but either way, that should be tower number one for us. And that's exactly what we need. So with this deck, I tend to go 1-0. Just try and get the one crown win. There's no point of over committing, especially since I'm using the Mortar. It is pr pretty, like, difficult. Not, it's not impossible, but it does definitely get a lot harder when they do take one tower. Because they can just spawn units in the center. So we're going to go Spear Goblins at the back, the guy is using the Royal GG, we're going to go right here, Fireball, go Minion Horde, and that should be the end of that Royal Giant. So I'd expect, fully expect a Wizard right here, hence why we're going to push the left hand lane, we're going to go Log Spell as well, he's going to go with the Mini Pekka, we are going to get one Hog Rider shot off, oh we're going to actually get two off, because of the Log, pretty efficient Log right there, taking the tower down to below 1k, nice, we'll take it, we'll take it. We'll go in with the fireball. Pretty poor fireball, to be honest. Not gonna lie. So I'm gonna go spear goblins. We're gonna go hog rider. We're just gonna push tower number two at this point. We may as well do so. One of spear goblins going to target right there. Hog rider's gonna take the tower. That's gonna be tower number two. Looking pretty good right here. We'll save up for the fireball. We'll go ahead and fireball everything right there. Nice. Mortar's going to help take everything out as well. And that's gonna be the game. So we won two crowns to zero. So pretty good game right there, pretty decent. We'll go ahead and jump into game number two and hopefully we can, oh, magical chest, oh well. We may as well go ahead and crack that open right now, any moment if it loads, there we go. So yeah, we'll go ahead and start opening that up and we'll jump into game number two right now. So against Muhammad669, he's gonna wish me good luck. So go ahead and wish him good luck back too. So Spear Goblin's at the bridge, he is using a Goblin Hut. Didn't really expect that one to be honest, but we do of course have the Mortar. So hopefully we can actually go ahead and utilize the mortar to take that out. So we'll go in with the log just to get it to target the hut itself. Get that taken out. Mortar should fire one more time at it fully expect. Go on, fade away. Yes, look at that. So we got what we needed from the mortar right there. I'm actually going to go in with a very risky play right here. We're going to prediction fireball. Hog is gonna jump. He goes with the wizard, but a bit too far to the right. And the fireball does not actually end up taking it out. So I'm going to have to go in with a mortar. Oh my word. Let's hope he doesn't have zap. Wizard's going to target the tower right there. Okay, phew. He did not have the zap spell. Otherwise, that would have just been the game over to begin with. That, that would have just been it. I would have lost. There's no way I would have been able to, to kill that one. But yeah, fortunately he didn't. He has the bar put as well. What on earth is this? We're going to hit a nice log right there, hit the barbs, hit the hut, and actually hit the tower as well. I'll take it. So Spear Goblin should damage the Barbarian hut right there. 
The Goblin Hut is of course in as well. We'll just go Goblin Gang. Then I'll go ahead and spawn in the Mortar again, just as before. Guys using a very interesting deck to say the least. Mortar's going to hit nothing. Nice, we'll take it. <laughs> so Mortar is going to get Fireboard. We will of course go Bats. And then now uh, we will just go in with this and this. We should hit one more Goblin. Yep, there it is. Okay, we'll take that. That's good. We'll take it. Take what we can get. We're going to Fireball. We may as well get the tower taken out. I keep saying the word take, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> but yeah, that the Mortar is going to be pretty poor deployment for like the Giant Skelly. Of course, the... Okay, if he's going to deploy it on that side. Nice, we'll, we'll have it. So Goblin Hut does get taken out. He does, of course, have the Executioner, which is probably one of the hardest cards for me to face right now. And the Minion Horde. We do actually need the Fireball. And we're going to hit everything right there. Good. We'll go Goblin Gang at the top. Nice. Look at this. Easy. We're, we're easy. Easy. <laughs> You're probably right in comments. Spirit, this is not easy. <laughs> I don't even know. But anyway, here we go. Mortar has gone down. We'll go Bats at the bridge. He may go Wizard at the bridge. I'm not really too sure. But yeah, that should be the game right there. We'll go Minion Horde at the back. We're going to Prediction Fireball. Well, we're not because I cheated. He already spawned the Wizard in. We'll just go ahead and get the wizard taken out right there. We'll go mortar at the bridge again just for the memes. And that's going to be the game. So one crown to zero. We'll Why do I keep saying that? Why do I keep saying that? Okay. I really don't know. But two games in a row. We are 2-0 and right now. I'm going to go ahead and jump into game number three. And I'll see you guys in just a second. Alright guys. Here we go. Game number three. We are now at 5,500 trophies. We're slowly making our way up. I barely, I think I've barely even played at all this season. But yeah, we are where we are. So the guy is, of course, using the e -Wiz. Looks like it is level 11, which is, to be honest, quite low. But then again, I'm not really at high trophy range. We're going to go ahead, Prediction Fireball. And we're going to miss the wizard again. I'm not having much luck with the Prediction Fireball today. I should probably stop, to be honest. Because that's two in a row I've missed. He's an... Are you kidding me? Really? Kid's gonna go pecker at the... Oh my word. Right, this is... Oh no. Oh no. Come on, kill the wizard. No! <laughs> this is a disaster. Why does everyone use the wizard? Like, how many people do you see use the wizard? Everyone now, for some reason. I, d I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, it's not over yet. The game's not over. Tower's down to 1400. Of course... It's pretty good. So, he has the e -wiz. We can fireball the e -wiz. One shot fireball him right there. What on earth is this? And we missed the bandit because I'm trash. He's in a zap spell. Okay, I have no idea what that was. He literally just decided to go in with like 10 elixir worth of units at the bridge. I really don't know. He's going to go in with the e -wiz. That's why I'm going to do a staggered push. If you was wondering why I spawned this big ovens in afterwards. Come on, take the tower. Good. Right, so we're back in the game. I have no idea what the guy was doing like with this bridge spam tactic just a second ago. If he did that with Hog Rider Wizard, I'd have lost. I have nothing to kill the wizard. Except this and potentially the mortar. So, oh my word. Right, so Peck has already gone down. Not bad. We can have a fireball ready for the wizard. We're going to log. Take that out right there. We miss one. Not the end of the world. We we'll just have to go gang for sacrifice. Oh my. I have no idea. Oh no. And he hits the fireball as well. I'm going to do a very strange play. Trust me it will work. He's even going to go hog rider. The reason I spawned the, the wizard. The, not the wizard. I can't even think. I'm trying to win. Okay. I'll explain what I did in a second. <laughs> So pretty much I went Hog Rider like right there in the center just because of the the wizard. Okay, that's good. That should be the tower. Come on. Nope, not quite. No, the bandit dashed to the tower. Are you serious? The bandit dashed the tower. Hog Rider, please get a shot. Hog Rider, please take. Yes, good. All right, so we take the king. We take the tower out. Now we have to get the king again. This is where this deck gets really like I've pretty the mortars. I don't even know what to say. We're, we're gonna win. I'm gonna win. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna win. 
As long as he doesn't... I don't even... No, I, I knew he was going to do that. Right, he's lost. He's actually just lost the game. He's just lost the game. Right, minion holds good. Oh, he's got the fireball. I forgot. Right, okay. It's not over yet. Not over yet. What's he got? He's got Goblin Gang. He's used the wizard. He has the bandit. We're going to go right here and here. He's going to go there. We're going to go here. We're going to go right here as well. We're going to log spell the Goblin Gang. Hopefully we hit most of it. I don't really know what killed my units at the top. But not that bad. We're going to go in with a, and, a second Hog Rider right there. And we're going to win. Okay, I have that was probably the worst commentary you've ever heard. So I am sorry about that. But the gameplay, we ended up winning. That's all that matters, surely. Anyway, that's going to be the video, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. I'll go ahead and show you the deck one more time. It is this one right here. If you don't have the log, you can, of course, use the, like, Barbarian Barrel. Or you can even use, like, Zap Spell, Arrows, anything you want, Snowball even. Or even just a random other card you do have. But, yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. 144. We're pushing our way to 150. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already. And apart from that, I'll see you in a future video. Peace.